The exhibition uh, focuses on the art produced during the Byzantine Empire and, and concentrates on the city of Constantinople which remained its imperial capital from its foundation in 330 to 1453 which are the dates of the exhibition. So essentially we're looking at the lifespan of Constantinople as a Byzantine city. Exhibitions like this rely on the art that was produced for us to be able to tell the story. So we've brought various different types of art forms here in order to visually present what Byzantium was all about. It's very difficult to pick out highlights. We've got 420 objects or so in the exhibition. There are some fantastic things. I think amongst my favorites would have to be the six objects that have come from the Basilica of San Marco in Venice. What makes it really fascinating is the fact that we're looking at a society that was founded on the vestiges of ancient Rome. So it has these traditions that go back into ancient history, if you like. So it's this bridge, really, from the ancient world through medieval into really Renaissance Europe. So it has this wonderful link with all these different worlds and gives us a, a sense, really, of what life must have been like in that period. We feel that the exhibition, like a lot of our recent cultural shows, is about introducing a subject to a new audience. It's an opportunity to visit, essentially, 85 different museums and see those objects brought together under, the, under one roof. This epic Byzantine display is on at the Royal Academy of Arts until the end of March. Ticket prices vary and the nearest station is Green Park.